welcome back to Space Diving. This is Michiel van der Groep and our first subject is Space Diving. We want to tell you something about G-Force. Because some people don't know what G-Force means, I will first tell you something about the Space Force. For an example, when you are in a roller coaster, every time the roller coaster makes a bend, looping or other movements, you have a strange feeling in your stomach. That's G-Force, reacting on your body. G-force is a force that's reacting on your body against gravity. G-force can be artificiated in G. The weight of G when you're sitting in a roller coaster has a maximum of 5G. More than that can be dangerous. With a weight of 9G you can pass out and over 14G is deadly. But now back to space diving. When you are falling down in Earth's atmosphere, a large weight of G-force is reacting on your body. That's because you're falling down with high speed. The high speed, the gravity, and all the things like air streams together will be re reacting on your body as G-force. The people who made a hobby of space diving are doing it for the large risk and this enjoyable feeling in the G of the G-force. For Space News, this was Michiel van der Groep. And now, with Eva de Wil with her story about gravity of the next subject. Hello, I'm Medie van der Wereld and I want to talk to you about gravity. Space diving isn't that famous yet because the risks of going space are big. And there are still a lot to ask questions about. Just like the gravity, that's a big deal in space. Like Newton had said before in his own made theory about gravity, he made clear that when something falls down out of space, the closer it comes to Earth, how faster it goes. That would mean that when a person drops out of a rocket or something like that, in the beginning, it doesn't go that fast, but how closer it comes to Earth, how faster it will fall. That's why it's important to have a good parachute who can slow you down a bit. When you slow down, it can lead to weight measures, and when it pops out, it will. Which is not to say for some people. It could lead to lightness in the head or fainting. It isn't the same as zero gravity, and it doesn't mean that you don't have any weight now anymore. Space diving isn't that safe, but I'm glad there are still a lot of people who are thinking about it and looking for ways to make it safer. There are a lot of things we have to think about, like gravity, or of course friction, g-force, the suit, the parachute, the rocket. Everything has to be worked out before you can be sure that it's really possible to go in space and dive. Mm -hmm. I hope I have informed you well. For Space News, it was Bedien van der Wild. Thank you and goodbye. Hello, this is Christian van Eerwijk with Space News. With space diving there are a few things to think about. I'm going to explain something about friction. What is friction? Everywhere and every time there is friction. Even when you drive your car or when you stand still. With space diving there is especially wind friction. But what ha happens when there is friction? First of all, there is a speed limitation. Because when there is nothing to stop you and there is only a force that pulls you down, you only fall faster and faster. Secondly, there is heat. Like when you rub your hands, your hands become warmer. Imagine what happens when you rub your hands a thousand times faster than this. How hot would that be? Let's take a maximum speed of 2000 km an hour. Then it will be too hot for your body because the friction is too much and you will die for sure. But have you ever tried to pull your hands out of the window when a car is driving 115 km an hour? If you have ever done that, you know that because of the friction your hands will be pulled back. When you go space diving, the speed is faster and the friction is stronger. Therefore you have to wear a helmet for sure or your head will be blown away. The same will happen to your hands, legs or arms if you don't wear the right stuff. You see that friction has a lot to do with space diving. I hope I have told you enough about the subject. Goodbye. There was space diving news.